defense at. Okay, thanks. Uh, say, Nibish, I wanted to run an argument by you that I've heard several times since September the 11th. Uh, the 19 hijackers that day didn't look a lot like uh, Amy and Donald. They looked a lot like Greg and me. Uh, well, mostly maybe like me. Uh, if the goal is to find terrorists, a lot of people say it is lunacy not to focus on young brown men. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that argument? Uh, so many things. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, it's interesting that you say that they look like you, Shankar, and like Greg over here, but they didn't look like me, and I'm the only one called Hussein. And I'm the only one from a Muslim <laughs> family uh, on this panel. Uh, and that gets exactly to the heart of the problem, which is that, first of all, um, I think the notion that... Uh, anyone in the United States has a good handle on what a uh, potential member of Al-Qaeda might look like is kidding themselves, right? I mean, uh, it, the, if, if you were to uh, follow a policy that reduced counterterrorism to some sort of uh, ethnic stereotype, you would be dealing with a pool of potential terrorists. Well, let's say you said Muslims in general uh, constitute the pool of potential terrorists. That's 1.2 billion people, right? That's one in every five people in the world, right? It's very, it, it comes very close to saying that people are, are, are the pool of potential terrorists. It's, it's, not, it's not plausible. They say, well, okay, well, we'll leave out the old women and the children and we'll concentrate on men 15 to 70 or something, or, or you know, whatever. I mean, you're still, still dealing with a ludicrously large pool of people. Uh, if you were to say, all right, well, we're not worried about, um, uh, you know, Muslims of other ethnicities. We're worried only about Arabs. And you're, okay, you've gone from dealing with uh, more than a billion people to dealing with more than a quarter of a billion people. Uh, it, not a huge improvement. Uh, that's the first uh, sort of problem, is that, is that the, the, uh, the, the, as a practical matter, it's, it's ridiculous to treat millions of people. Now, however you wanted to pare it down, you could say, well, just young Arab men in the United States, or young Arab men on non-immigrant visas in the United States. It's, however you slice it down, it's an implausibly large group of people. That's the first thing. The second thing is uh, that we know very well that uh, uh, there have been uh, all kinds of people uh, who've been arrested, who've been uh, alleged to be associated with Al-Qaeda. It's not just uh, Jose Padilla and Richard Reed but, or uh, John Walker Lind or others, but, uh, but uh, simply the fact that uh, what you're talking about um, is a pool of people who cannot be identified uh, on the basis of uh, appearance or ethnicity or religious affiliation uh, because as the people who are expert in uh, counterterrorism and in law enforcement have recognized, I think, and people like Vincent Canestrara, the former head of counterterrorism for uh, the CIA, has put it very well, uh, ethnicity is a false lead. Right? It doesn't tell you anything interesting uh, about who might be a threat. Again, because uh, the, the uh, pool of potential uh, people is so large and because it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't actually contain uh, any uh, practically useful information, right? And uh, obviously, uh, religious affiliation is even less helpful uh, as an indicator because uh, then you've increased the size of the pool. Uh, so, from a practical point of view, um, it's just not it's just not uh, usable. Uh, but certainly uh, profiling has a profound effect, which is to uh, damage the values uh, that we have in our society. Uh, to, uh, first of all, squander resources on a, a wild goose chase, uh, as, as so many of the uh, alleged counterterrorism policies that, that Donald and others have been talking about here today have done. The alien registration, look at, look at Alien registration, NSEERS, for example, just just as an uh, just to to, to examine uh, a, a policy that does reduce to a stereotype, and and let's see, you know how effective it was. Um, hundreds of thousands of people were forced to. Uh, come in and be uh, photographed and fingerprinted and tell the authorities about themselves and their friends and their movements and what have you uh, under NCRs, right? Uh, 
uh, and uh, of of that group, um, some uh, I believe it is about twelve thousand uh, were identified with some sort of immigration issue. Right? Many of those immigration issues, by the way, had to do with NCRs itself. So this policy actually managed to create. Uh, additional people who had legal problems that wouldn't have had any trouble beforehand. Uh, many of them were trivial violations. Some were some were uh, real, uh, you know, immigration concern issues, long-term visa overstays, or people who really, uh, you know, maybe needed to be addressed. But that uh, again has little to do uh, with counterterrorism. About 250 criminal cases, non-national security related, right? Um, credit card fraud, immigration fraud, things like that. Uh, and uh, about seven people identified who were reported to, quote, have links to terrorist groups and who, were, uh, who weren't arrested, they were just deployed, were deported, right? And, and uh, it's not clear at all what those links were, which terrorist group they might have had an association, what the nature of that association might have been. Uh, there is no specific claim or even a generalized claim uh, by uh, Homeland Security or by the Department of Justice that NCRs had actually produced a single instance in which uh, someone or some group that was a threat to the country in any way was actually identified, let alone thwarted because of this. So you have this massive policy of registering stirring hundreds of thousands of people around the country that uh, made a tiny dent in, uh, in immigration law enforcement, uh, but succeeded in creating additional uh, problems there, uh, that made a infinitesimally small dent in criminal law enforcement, and that had no effect whatsoever that we can discern uh, on uh, increasing national security or on counterterrorism.